So I had a really fun question come in from one of the Spirit Mind students. Sonia said, I'm not able to trust people because of fear of people. And she's looking for some, some tips on that. And uh, this one's really fun. So probably a lot of us can relate to this. So the, the feeling like I don't trust people because I'm afraid of them, maybe in the sense of I'm afraid what they're going to do. It could also be I'm afraid of their intentions or just kind of, you know, in general, a fear comes up around trusting. And the, the trick I think here, this is a really simple one, is instead of thinking about trusting the other person, think about trusting yourself. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tune in. It can either be through, you know, if I've got tools for going in and meditating and then tuning in that way and grounding, or if just in general, if I have a sense of intuition or a feeling inside, I'm just going to tune in to my own feeling and guidance and say, uh, is this a situation where I want to interact with this person? Is this a situation where uh, I want to sign this contract or I want to go out on this date or be in this relationship or have this conversation or whatever the situation is where the trust was coming up. But instead of thinking of it in terms of, do I trust them, right? Or, or are they a trustworthy person? Uh, think of it in terms of, do I trust myself to take care of myself? Can I trust my own inner feeling that, mm, I'm kind of afraid of that person and I don't trust them. That's totally okay. That's my authentic feeling. So this is a no, right? Or, oh, I'm really excited about this opportunity with this person and I'm kind of scared and I recognize I have some trust issues, but I want to step in anyway. Okay, that's that's a yes. So the answer is not really about them. It's It's about me. I trust myself to take care of myself. And I also know that I won't always make perfect choices. Sometimes I'll I'll decide to trust somebody because that's all trust is really is just a decision, right? <laughs> I'm going to decide to trust that person, try it out. And sometimes I'll be disappointed and that that's okay. That's just feedback for me to say, okay, I learned a little bit. Hopefully I didn't get too hurt. Uh, it's not a failure. It's just something I'm going to take in to my next time when I'm looking within and deciding, ah, can I trust myself to make decisions? Now, the, the only thing I would say with this is that you have to be really mindful to not be in a judgmental space about yourself. So if you get into this space that, of thinking, I'm not good at trusting people, I'm not good at judging if people are trustworthy or not, uh, that's kind of a downward spiral. So what I'm suggesting is kind of doing the opposite, saying, I do trust myself to make choices about my life. And even though I know that it won't always be perfect, I'm still going to trust myself, my own inner feeling and guidance and move forward on that. See, that's going to take us in this upward spiral. And uh, and life will still have ups and, ups and downs. There'll be like wins and losses. But if you're trusting yourself, it can feel good every step along the way.